What's going on Instagram fam? It's Caleb Curl back here with a new video. I know I've been a little MIA lately, um, but for those of you that have been tuned into my channel, um, y'all know that's me. I talk a lot about the importance of unplugging and taking a break from social media and just living in the present moment. So um, that's what I've been doing. I've just been living in the present moment, just reflecting, enjoying my life, enjoying my family, enjoying everything that God has in my hands. And I just wanted to come in today and share that experience with you all. Um, I just recently turned the, the big 2-7, and, um, and that's something that I do every year after my birthday is I just sit and I just reflect about like everything that I have learned and gone through um, the year prior. And as I was just sitting there, you know, I was just, um, I just had a, a spirit of gratitude. One, because God allowed me to see 2-7, um, and, um, you know, especially with the year that we've gone through in 2020 and just things that are still going on today, um, there's been a lot going on in this world. I'm just like, God, thank you, you know, for, for keeping me here, you know, um, and just thinking about just, you know, my life and my uniqueness. And, um, in, in today's world, I see a big struggle for many of us, um, especially those of us in the millennial generation that grew up with smartphones, uh, maybe at the point of middle school to high school to college, um, and, and how much we look at other people's lives and we compare ourselves and um, we have this, this void because we feel like we're not living out our purpose or we feel like we're not doing a enough or we're caught up in this hustle and we gotta be grinding all the time and always focus on the next thing. And I was, as I was reflecting, I was just like, you know, you know, God, I thank you for my uniqueness. I thank you that I'm different. I'm thankful that I don't look like the rest of the world. I'm thankful that I'm at peace with living a simple life, you know, that I don't care to be rich and famous. I don't care to um, have a million followers. I don't care if my brand doesn't look like the other people on Instagram and YouTube and across the internet. Like, I'm okay with being me. I'm okay with the lot in life that God has given me and some scripture that has helped me with that understanding is one reading the the entire book of Ecclesiastes and just hearing the words of King Solomon about you know there's nothing wrong with having nice things but our heart intention behind it and not seeking things of this world to give us peace and fulfillment and purpose but pursuing God and enjoying the lot in life that God has given us and also understanding what that looks like what what um, the fruits of the spirit are in reading Galatians um, chapter five and understanding that peace of mind is wealth, you know, um, that having joy and, 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 and wanting to see goodwill for other people, that's true wealth, you know, and there's nothing wrong with pursuing material things in this world to pass on wealth to future generations, but is that all that, that you're solely focused on while you're here, you know? And what is your intent for doing that? Are you doing that just because you see that other people on the internet are doing that, and so you feel like that's what's gonna fulfill you and, and give you purpose? Do you feel the need just because everybody else is becoming certified as a life coach that that's what you're supposed to do? Or is it because you sat down with God and you've reflected over your life and you've been pursuing him and his will for your life and he placed that on your heart to do so? And so I was sitting there just thinking about all of these things and I was just, you know, um, just thankful that I know God and I have a relationship with him just because there's just so much going on in the world today and there's so many different influences today with the internet and um, I think the internet is a beautiful thing and it's provided a place for a lot of us to grow. But again, going back to my earlier point, it's, a, it's provided a place for many of us to get sucked into a rabbit hole of comparison and never really getting in our word um, and hearing from God directly for ourselves, you know? And, and, and so, you know, I just say all that to say today, I wanna encourage all of you out there, if you feel that you're not enough, you're not doing enough, I want you to ask yourself, why do you feel this way? And, and I want you to evaluate how much time have you been spending um, allowing the rest of the world to influence you versus being in your word and hearing from the Holy Spirit and allowing him to influence your life? And that's something that I ask myself. When I find my, myself in moments of anxiety and depression and comparison, I ask myself, how much YouTube have I been watching? How long have I been on Instagram scrolling and looking at other people's lives? This is why I feel this way. And that's just for me per, per, you know, personally. I'm not saying for the rest of you guys, but just me thinking about my own life because I'm not exempt from these things as well. And so over the past 30 days, I've just been at a point where I just like during the week, like I unplug from all TV and media um, well, until like, you know, now it's February, but I did that for the past 30 days and I noticed a big shift in my life doing that. And I often talk about the importance of unplugging 
And so my absence from YouTube and, and, and other platforms, if you see me missing, I'm doing my best to live what I preach and I talk about, not just talking about it just because it's another piece of content, but actually living it and allowing my life to be an example. But I want to encourage you all you know, to, to just sit and reflect and think about your life and you know, think about um, where certain influences and thoughts that you've been having um, are coming from. You know, I want you to know that you are enough and it is okay that you are different. It is okay that, you know, um, that you have a simple life. You know, there's nothing wrong with having a nine to five and, and coming home and, and, and your desire is to just live a, a simple, peaceful life and love your family and give unto others. You know, I think about, you know, that was something else I was thinking about just in, you know, thinking where I'm at today at 27. When I was younger, I was so focused on money and hustling and grinding and, you know, I was stuck in this whole mentality that, you know, sleep is for suckers and you always got to be working and always got to be grinding. But then I realized that's not of God. Anything that God has for, for, for me is going to come with ease because I'm going to do my part by activating my faith and taking a step forward. But God is going to do everything else. All this grinding and feeling like, you know, I got to have a brand. I got to do this. I got to do that because everybody else is doing it. I no longer care about that. You know, I'm at a place of peace in my life and you got to figure out what that is for you. So that way you don't live in this, this state of anxiety and depression and worry and guilt and comparing yourselves to other people day in and day out. But pause and reflect and think about your life. Get, you know, I want to encourage you all to get in your word. You know, if you have a physical Bible, especially like detach from from your phone completely, you know, aim to try and spend 30 minutes to an hour at some point in time in your day where you're just solely hearing from God. You're in your word. You're meditating. You're getting quiet. So that way you can really recognize whose you are and who you are. You can adjust your, your crown as a king or queen and allow the wealth of peace, love, joy, happiness, discipline, self-control to come back into your life and, and, and that be your foundation of who you are and your peace and guiding you on which way to move and not moving in a direction just because you see somebody else doing it. So I know this video um, was kind of, um, uh, you know, maybe in a couple of different directions, but the overall piece that I just want to encourage you all with today is just remembering to unplug, to get back into your Bible, to hear from God directly. And um, something else that on, on that note, you know, um, I hear a lot of people talking about, you know, they use their Bible app and they read their devotions in the morning and that's great in its place. But I want to encourage you all to go directly to the source, you know, technology is great, devotions are great, but you have the same access as a person that wrote that devotion, you have the same access to God as they do, you know, go directly to the source and really know God for yourself and not just know of him. You know, I was talking to somebody the other day about this particular um, thing and just with technology today and I was just saying, you know, um, you know, I'm from Pensacola and Roy Jones is from Pensacola. So growing up, something that I would commonly hear people say is that, you know, oh, Roy Jones, my cousin. Oh, I know Roy Jones for real. You know, just in school, like, you know, kids, we would talk about that. Um, but, in, you know, as we got older, it's like, man, how, how many of us really know him? Do we just know of him because we've seen him on the TV screen or we've seen him through some filter or process formed of media? Or have we gone directly to him and talked to him? And, and then the same thing with our word. Like the, the only time that you spend time with God is that in your Bible app, in your devotion in the morning, or do you go directly to God and you open your Bible for yourself and you study to show yourself approved? Do you get quiet and just allow the Holy Spirit to, to just dwell in you, you know? So, you know, just wanted to, to touch on that, you know, uh, as well. And just also for those of you who may be stuck in that trap of comparing yourself and feel like you're not enough and, and feeling purposeless, I want you to trace, you know, sit down and trace where is this coming from? If, if, if you feel like it's because of the, the, your friend circle, if you feel like it's because of social media and watching YouTube and just different media outlets all the time, I want to encourage you to trace it back and then take a, a, a step away from it for, for a little bit. Take, take 21 to 30 days where you just unplug from said thing that you feel like is causing you know, some of this influence that may be incite anxiety and depression and worry and the comparison and envy and trap. I want you to take a break from that. I want to encourage you to do that. I promise it will give you a beautiful reset and you will come back refreshed with the right mind after spending time with God on who you are and what direction you should be moving in. So, but anyway, just wanted to drop in with that. Um, I'll be back soon with more videos. Um, I'm done with my little, you know, break, sabbatical, whatever you want to call it. So um, I'll be putting out more content. Um, 
But um, for those of you who are newer, newer to my channel, if you see me disappear for a little bit, that, that's simply what it is. I've just decided that I'm taking a break and um, I'm working on living what I talk about and encourage you all to do as well because I'm not exempt. I'm, I'm still in this body um, and I still need God just as much as you all. But anyway, I'll be back soon. Peace.